Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another episode with us again today. Franklin, how are you doing? How is family? And how is everything generally? I'm all right, thanks. I'm all right. All right. Now, so, the door is yours and um, let's have it. All right. Uh, I really appreciate the the caveat you put before we start the program because um, most times in, in this part of the world, you just have to know that uh, while fighting for Africans to be free, you realize your greatest opponent or enemy are still the same Africans themselves. So you use one sword to fight for them and you use another one to fight yourself from them. And um, at a couple of- So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just, um, I'll remove myself. I'll, I'll be in the background, but I'll let you have the full screen so you can carry on talking so that my lagging wouldn't take people's attention. All right, no problem. All right, so a couple of times, uh, maybe during the last broadcast uh, that we've had together, and now I realize that um, a lot of people from this platform, from every other platform, come around and say, oh, it's just karma, is this and that and all that. May I put it out to everybody that um, if you're open for a free service or you are not open to pay for knowledge that is being shared with you, the secret, sacred secret of the nature you can please go and meet jesus or follow muhammad uh pay your tithe regularly offering project offering sacrificial offering pastoral offering build houses in mecca and all of those things you are free it's it's all about a free world but when you are coming to african spirituality you must know that our forefathers our ancestors that's the way they did all these things and sometimes it will require you to buy one item or the other if you can get your items sent to us from everywhere it's welcome if you are going to send us the item it's okay but nothing goes for free here and if we try as much as possible to render the knowledge to you please also appreciate the time that we spend don't because you feel disenfranchised because you are broke because you cannot afford to pay for the items of whatever is needed or you have been duped by your pastors and also been bashed by your imam you think those who practice african spirituality are the best ones to take your your broke nature or whatever it is that you are no we also don't uh, go to market to steal those things uh, the ones we can do for free, we get to do it for free. So I personally do not appreciate people calling me scammer and all of those things. I'm plain enough, and African spirituality will surely cost you money. Having done that, uh, we today talking about um, understanding witchcraft and also the witches. And let me start by saying, what is witchcraft? Because most times, a lot of us do not understand that we are all born as witches. Every single one of us born as a witch individually, as witches communally, globally. And your misconception or misunderstanding about witchcraft is what is causing the fear factor that is being instilled in you by the practice uh, practitioners of the religion of the invaders to make you go away from who you are. One of the first things you as a person who is an African child, well-spirited child, need to understand is that you are a witch by nature. Now, the understanding of this ability to be a witch or being a witch is what makes you be able to practice witchcraft and we, we are we are going to be examining witchcraft in different manner different ways and uh, from different angles if you come to me and i have some sort of gifting from nature such that when i hold your edge i can perform something they call data transfer where you as a device in nature communicate with me as another device in nature and so we exchange data information 
we download and upload within ourselves without uttering a word. And I am able to tell you, come, this is what is wrong with you. These are the things you need to do. Or let's say I am filled with some kind of gift to have premonitions of what is about to happen or what has happened before and how we can stop the bad occurrences and also initiate the good experiences. To one who lives an ordinary life, I am a witch to that person. So witchcraft is the perfect understanding without leaving any detail, no matter how minute it may be, of what nature held, owed, and we owed for all of us. Ability to assess information without approval from the one who chest that information. That is witchcraft. And every one of us have that gift inside of us. There are several videos I've done on my YouTube page, Baba Yoba on YouTube page. And I have been able to bring mankind to the position of saying, that, come you are God over your life. If G-O-D means Olodumare, then you are the Olodumare you are looking for. So when those who do not have the inclination or full understanding on how to maximize this witchcraft in them encounter you, they label you evil. They start by calling you diabolical just because they do not have access to the kind of power that you do have access to, to the kind of understanding that you do have access to. And so it is, re it is easy to do the sliding and the uh, blackmailing and uh, smuggling and all the shading just because someone is not at the same knowledge level just as you. Now it takes an extraordinary person to know themselves. The extra effort you put in knowing yourself is what makes you extraordinary. And I tell you, everyone watching now or will watch later, you have this gift in inside of you. Being a witch is not a duty of some ugly women in the village, unlike what your pastor will tell you. Every old woman that is looking malnutrition or live in the village, or look way ugly somehow, in Africa is a witch. So they will tell you so many stories to get you scared that a witch is coming from a meeting. And so she got stuck on the roof because she's looking for how to buy a fuel to refuel her flight. And I'm wondering what really is the correlation between witchcrafty and buying fuel to fly? I keep telling people that until we embrace darkness that is inside of us, we will not be able to express the light that is also inside of us. It starts from the negative aspect as termed by people to the positive aspect. So to you, to me, once you have a supernatural knowledge of a thing without getting approval from anyone, you are already practicing what they call witchcraft. Now, let's take it a step backward now. There is something that the Christians call faith, that having faith, they define it as the evidence of things not seen. And to tell you that when you so much focus your attention on the certain things you want from the sky God, then everything is possible. So much that you can say to a mountain that be ye moved and be cast into the sea and it will be done. If such a thing happened to you while you are practicing what they call faith in your church, it is not witchcraft. If I come to your house and I refuse to knock the door and I stand still and I focus my thought, my emotion, my energy on that door, and so invoking the supernatural because I can do it. You can do it. And the door gets opened. 
don't forget that the material world is an offspring of the spiritual world. And if you go back to the place where it is manufactured, you can manipulate it. And they don't get opened. What you would tell me is that I practice witchcraft. Mm -hmm. You will not say I use my faith to get that thing done. Everyone possess emotion, possess that focus and desire. Once your focus, emotion, and your desire is in one single line, Nothing can deny you of anything at all you want in the universe. And this is not a Christian teaching. This is the teaching of the universe and nature, which every one of us must be able to live as our daily reality. In your Bible, I said a certain guy called Jesus suddenly disappeared into the sky, evaporated like water. And a certain guy called Philip, while he was baptizing one Ethiopian, uh, Ethiopia eunuch by the riverside, disappeared from one city to another city. It is okay. You clamor it. You cherish it. You want it so badly. You will fast and pray for it, but you won't get it. If it happens in your lifetime, maybe I or you do that exact thing, you will call me a witch and you will also be tagged a witch. Then the next thing is death sentence for us to kill you. We, we have forgotten that those who wrote the Bible, those who wrote the Korean, are simply trying to create a single system of order in the world such that you cannot have access to yourself except you get their approval. Mm -hmm. So anyone who assess themselves, they are gifting the things that is inside them as a human, thereby becoming supernatural without the approval of the Eurasian and all these uh, one word order techniques are naturally termed a witch. Knowing this and having this knowledge is thereby telling you that if you say you call the name of Jesus and you get miracles, I also will tell you that those who call Shango, they get things done. Let me tell you a little story. I told one of our followers when she reached out to me. It so happened that when we did the divination, this person is having the inclination with water and the level of intensity of our energy is is quite so much for me when I discover I needed to also bow to her. And while I was telling her all these things, I told her that yours is even so extreme, you might not need water to do what water can do. And I've not seen her before. She's somewhere in diaspora. And I said, if you check yourself very well, your palms drips of water. I said, the water that drips out of your body, sometimes when you splash it around, it carries so much power and data, you only need to give it a direction with the words of your mouth. And I said, to wow. encourage you, something happened recently in Ogun State. They call the town Ilese. Ilese is between Ijebui Mushi, is it Ijebui? Yeah, Ijebui Mushi and Ijebui Fe. And so this particular Baba, who is the king of a certain small village, went on the expressway to Ijebu Ode to cut some money to pay his laborer. And while he was coming, he had an accident and died on the road. But before he died, some road safety, four of them, came to his rescue. They couldn't rescue his life. And they called his family to come take the cops. And the cops, the family came. And they realized from the last text message that Baba took some money, but they could not get, get the money from the car. No, we didn't take money. Though. Where is the money now? We didn't collect it with, okay. Are you sure? They said they are sure. So they went to invoke the, the, the deity of justice. Hmm. In African spirituality, using Yoruba way, we use a shoe and shongo interchangeably for equity and justice. And so one of these days, it was not rainy, nothing was happening. The thunder struck 
and those who are at the door, the lightning actually bruises their body, went into the office, struck those four men, and this is the way Shango works. When your case is with Shango and you are guilty, it will pull you out of wherever you are, smash you outside in the public, and where, whatever it is you stole, no, no matter where you kept it, it will bring that stuff and put it on your chest. And how do we know that this is not just mere coincidence? There's something they call this um, thunderbolt, Edunara. That mm. is how we, whenever Shongo works in the place, the Edunara will be there. And nobody else can approach it except those who master, who specialize in that deity of Shongo. And the Edunara is what they look for first. I said, for us to know. Now, this man thought that nothing will happen. There must have been some Christians, there must have been some Muslims amongst them who, having taken the money, would have gone to say, Allah forgive me, do astigafurullah, in a life kafur royal. They would have said, Grace cover me, forgiveness cover me, Jesus has died for me. But they have forgotten that some things are more powerful than Jesus, some things are more powerful than Allah. And that is in African spirituality. Whoever saw that event, we call it witchcraft. Why? Because you lack the knowledge to invoke that energy of nature to come to your aid and give you justice. And people need to come to reality. Either you call it superstition or whatever it is. Don't worry. Come and steal from me. That's why they, they are scared of you, frankly. They are scared of me. They are scared of everyone who embraces Africa because they will say we don't have forgiving art. Don't offend us. We are not trying to hurt you. When you try to come against us, fire is not coming against you. Now you will go put down for fire, fire go burn. And it doesn't occur here that, okay, I'm forgiving you. Are for no. Even if we, the children of the universe and nature forgives you, the nature and the universe will fight for us. And you cannot escape it. And that is why there is total holiness concept, righteousness concept, in African spirituality, you dare not do what you don't want to get. You don't cook what you don't want to eat. You don't dabble into things you don't want to experience. Just maintain your lean. Consequences is a watchword. When you know the consequences of it, you dare not go against it. Mm -hmm. And this witchcraft is not coming from the outer space. It is coming from the mindset of people. So when you call your Jesus and you think you get miracles, we call our Shongo, we also get miracles. We call our Shun, we get miracles. We call Oloku, we get miracles. We call our Ya, we get miracles. We call all of this energy, we invoke them and we get miracles. If miracle is done by names, it would have been the name of Jesus alone that works. Because they say all power belongs to Jesus. However, I'll take you back to the concept of you also being God. If you go to call these names and your mind is not in it and your emotion is not in it and your focus is not in it, you are only wasting your time because the true judge of character and the knower of the intent of the art of man is nature itself. When your mind is focused on it, even ordinary biro can work miracles for you. So who is giving energy to that biro? It is you, not the biro. You are the one sharing the energy within you with the object around you for them to have life. And that's why one of the most precious creatures of the universe is mankind. However, mankind always look for a way to corrupt their mindset by going back to bow down to trees, to the things that has been made lesser than them that do not have the oblaganta, the medulla oblaganta, and this intuition of the instinct, just like they can do. Whereas all things are living, but not all things are reasonable. As awesome as water is, water still needs you to direct it, instruct it, and give it a command. It will not just work on its own. It will wait for your order. And that's why we say, you are the Orisha, the deity, the God. If all of this information, knowledge, no 
knowing yourself is inside of you there is no way they will not call you a witch in your office one day there is no way they will not call you a witch in your in your neighborhood one day because before it happens you already know your way out of it things don't happen to you now they happen for you these are beautiful knowledge however with knowledge comes abuse mm. people who understand this way of life who practice this thing can also use it to hurt people i will not talk about the consequences of their action because they know but if power exists then power is a zombie it goes where you want it to go it comes when you want it to come if the power falls in the hands of the wrong person the power will be a wrong thing if it falls in the hand of a good person it becomes a good thing and so witchcraft is itself the knowledge the totalitarian knowledge of nature however what do you use your knowledge of witchcraft to do and that is why we need to be careful people are dying why because people are killing people guns don't just shoot themselves people use guns to kill people people are dying in the hand of wizardry witchcraft not because witchcraft itself is evil but because those who practice witchcraft are using this witchcraft to hurt others so if franklin has some kind of level of witchcraft and he want to hurt me i have some kind of level of witchcraft to protect myself and that's why you cannot be in the dark while walking through this earth this planet it's always ijawa ijawsi always guiding because those you don't offend are even offended by your own mere existence mm -hmm. people look at you and they wish you drop dead people are attentive to your household they are calling you every time saying i just want to check on you not because they want to check on you they want to hear has it gone too soon are they mm -hmm. announcing the painful exit can we now begin to share the obituary? Can we make them popular post humorously? If you allow yourself to lose God, then you become the victim of that circumstance. You become the casualty in this battle where we are, which is nature. And so we begin to drill it down to who are these witches in this adulterated form and understanding that we have gotten so far. The witches, as you have been told, are not those women in the Nollywood movie. Oyuboyi is not a representation of witches or witchcraft. <laughs> no, a lot of people have seen that. They say, call it Obi Mame, Oyuboyi, from what I do. That is not Mount Zion movie. That man called Mike Babiloyi is not representing. Either witchcraft or whatever it is, it's not representing them well. If witchcraft is represented as the society, the sacred order of the knowledgeable, experienced, illuminated set of human beings, you also will crave to be part of that sacred order. But they needed to do their social media and normal entertainment industry propaganda again because they are solely being sponsored by Eurasian mission to blackmail who you are. And so when you are a little child or even adult and you say something that come to pass, they say only deliverance, that you need the deliverance. From what? How can you be delivered from yourself, from your gifting, from the power that nature has bestowed upon you? And so I must have mentioned that once before in this platform that when we talk about the witches the misconception always come that is the women mm -hmm. why are we always saying it's the women are we saying there are no men who are also abusing their knowledge of nature for evil 
for you see our women take the blow for every misnormal in the society mm. if they want to be wise they will be too wise if they want to cheat they will be too cheaty are we all the if same they, dumb, they will be too dumb are we saying there are no and men also abusing their knowledge of nature for evil no that's what i just said now i said when well, we see, talk about it is the women that come to mind for every misnormal in the society something is playing back to me um Frank. the wise they will be too wise yeah just one second they also cheat they will be too cheating sorry about that it's from me go on all right so what i'm saying is when witches come to mind it is the women we put in that picture that's the way nollywood whatever wood i don't know what they are wooding that's made it to do. <laughs> but there are men who also abuse their knowledge of nature why do you think they call babala witch doctor in english before we start correcting it that babalawos are not witch doctors because some babala who also misuse their power and understanding of nature but oh, you see these women awesome creatures they came with authority every part of their body is filled with stamp of yes and final and in yoruba language we'll call the witches aje hmm. sometimes you need to understand that tongues changes as dispensation improves hmm. aje is not a word aje is the word aj means it shall be so and that is where we got a share from mm. putting the stamp of authority over a thing and so when we want to do if a sacrifice and all that we need the women a female gender to help us pray over it before we can believe that it has been settled in christianity in islam while you are praying if a man comes in they will say yes your prayer is sure to answer no here if we are doing something and the first person you see or the first person to come in is a woman that's when we jubilate and we're happy because we know there is a stamp on it why they carry this aura of authority so we call them Aje, not Aje. It is because of the lack of understanding of this power which they have that those who are not knowledgeable call them witches. They just mumble everything together and say, okay, the, 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 these women are witches. Just like we, we don't have Olori in the palace, we have Olori in the palace. And it is our women that are doing Olori in the palace. <laughs> Do you get the misconception over the time how the women have been disenfranchised? All of these things exist in our society, in African spirituality, knowing that if a man put you on a curse, you can escape it. If a woman do that, you might not escape it. If a man put you on a curse, you can just say, okay, 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 Dariji and all that. If a woman is involved in your matter, it is nature we have to offer sacrifice to. That's why we always offer sacrifices of a yonu, which is like favor. Knowing that the representation or the represent the ambassador of the universe have been hurt, and then we need to pacify them. And if these women, women come together and they determine in their mind 
that so so person is not going to make it forget it it's either you go and beg or so we call that elege the elege is not coming because they are flying like a bird in the night The elegia is not coming because they fly from one plantain tree to another cocoa tree. The concept of the elegia is the interconnectivity of all these women. You cannot escape them. If you leave Nigeria and go to Togo, they will continue your work there. Hmm. You want to transfer five years on, five let you one bear. I want to make come and pick it up. Can you I love that bit? Uh, can you please emphasize more on how, uh, you know, particularly for our people, I love that bit that you just highlighted now, because I don't know what else you intend to say on how people can be marked and how they can carry on targeting you if you don't do the right thing. Please go on. All right. Regarding that, you, you must understand that we are still, all of us, both the ignorant, the innocent, the powerful and the knowledgeable, are dealing with one single thing and that is the energy that floats in the universe hmm. and so when you are very reported to some people who are known to be able to twist or manipulate the knowledge of nature for evil what they do is to call your name unfortunately for you every one of us I created, or let me say, I give a birth to by a woman. And it makes hmm. the job easy. Women is who they reported you to. A woman is who bore you. And the moment they know your mother's name, sometimes they go into the extreme. They make figurine and call your ori into it. So the moment your old spirit being is being called into that figurine, whatever is done to that figurine, is what happens to you exactly. And so if a figurine, for example, is being made, call your name into it, and let's say the figurine is soaked in alcohol. My brother, my sister, Boshe Mamoti Kuni, you one might be a lawyer, a British or Boshe Kuni, a British or Homa Matula Motini or Tishani, a baby paraga. We have people bedwet, even as adults. Their work has been done, put into river. So whenever they have a dream that they are swimming a river, I'm saying this not to promote this negative aspect of African spirituality, but they tell you that power exists. And those who suffer from the hand of these people will bear witness with me. Now, how did they come about it? knowledge they seek the knowledge so i can teach you the same knowledge and say they have put your name in the figure and they are afflicting you the same knowledge they use in africa you is what we use to also set you free but first we have to know the root of the problem mm -hmm. so putting it back on you is not a matter of Maybe the mark of whatever or something, somebody will see a, vis vis a visible mark. But whoever of understanding of the power of the universe and nature, we know something is wrong with this person. And somebody is actually tampering with this person. Remember, sorry, I did a video, a teaching, answering a question if there are bad or negative or evil power in African spirituality. And I, I made a re revelation on my YouTube page, Baba Yoba, I made a revelation. I said, when we, the initiator, are being taught, before we get initiated, the first thing we are exposed to is that negative power of nature. You can spend five years learning how to do Ika. Hmm. You can spend five years learning how to do all sorts of things, how to make somebody run mad, 
how to make somebody not have progress, all the form of wickedness in the world. When you are done with that, you will now make a vow and a covenant that you will never use those negative power against anyone. But whenever you sense this negative energy, you will now be introduced to the positive one, the antidote for all those things that you have been taught. And so when a Babala will see you, a true Babala, when they see you, they are able to see from onset that this person, oh, well, all right, there's a mark on this person. Why? When the FBI was created in those years, they were created not for security of human. They were created for the security of currency. And this is how they train FBI agents. They lock them up in a room for some month or year. And all they expose them to is fake currency. Fake dollar anytime, every day. They touch it, they spell it, they do everything with it. And their graduation, they allow them to go. FBI agent from on, from on look, from afar, whenever he sees a fake currency. Why? Because fake currency is what he has been exposed to. Straight. He it up. Now, it is left for the FBI agent to use his knowledge of fake currency to promote this currency to be in circulation or to nab the, the corporate and bring them to justice. Do you get the way it works now? So we read our graph from negative to positive, not from positive to negative. The positive aspect is what we are taught last. Between the negative and the positive, we are taught to make magyamu emulegidi that you will not use it for to re any talk bagun booking kagun any talk booking poshu. You will have to make vow. And so, if you come from the family of Abalist, Babalawu, and the rest who are into evil, is your father or grandfather that have taken oath on your behalf before you come. And you see, most of them they die miserable death. No matter how much you give them, eh, ni lera la wong, wong mokpo la shobi akparoni. Because with the amount they have created in eventuality, if they make use of that thing for evil. Now, the way we have Babalawo, we also have Iyanifa, the women equivalent of what someone like me do. And the same thing applies to us, except those who do not go to the true Awo to go and learn. And so I have a choice as a human being to manipulate someone or to set them free. But why do I know exactly? Because I have been exposed to those negative power and energy so much. When someone radiates such energy, I able to know. Now, what happens to you when you go to a party and you enter a party hall for the first time and you feel like sitting with some people and not some other people? What do you think happened there? Your energy that you emit, it matches with one another. It is not verbal. It is not oral. These are not audio communication. They are energy communication, spiritual communication. You just flow with some people. If you are a miserable person, you flow with miserable people. If you are a happy person, you will love the, to sit among the happy people. Is that not how we make friends? Is that not how we meet our wives and, and husbands? Why are we hanging out with some people? Because they flow like us. They deal mm -hmm. the way we do. It yeah. is not something written down. I'm not going to be able to explain to you. It is something where you are working within yourself. You'll be able to note these things that something is wrong. The same way a mother, we know a good mother, anywhere he is or she is, that my child is about fully ill. I have a mother. My mother is still in existence. I'm telling you for fact. If I start having a headache now and the headache seems to be serious, the moment I lay on my bed, the first phone call I receive is my mother's phone call. Hello? Paoni? She will see. Paolarae. How did this woman know? It's the energy. Same way, for, yeah, same way for fathers who are homely, who are fathering. You will know when something is wrong with your people or your person or somewhere in your environment because you are attentive. Hmm. And so when all these people also focus on you, have the same emotion and concentrate on you that may evil befall this thing or this person. You are you are, you are tampered with. And it doesn't just happen like that. Someone might be destined to fail in life. 
you know, this person might be able to make it here in Nigeria. Hmm. But because they are destined to fail, they will do everything to go abroad. When they now get to abroad, they will now not make it in abroad. They will now not be able to come home. Has the program been executed or not? Can you imagine? Someone has been programmed to die early because somebody has told somebody to fight for them. And they have said, okay, you every night you are sleeping and snoring. Every night they are invoking your name and calling bad energy and aura on you. You will now say, okay, after all my life is going on well, you will now go and marry a wrong man who is a killer. You are still enjoying yourself, oh? frankly. It's still an enjoyment. You don't know something is wrong. It's a timer. There's a program yeah. in you. You now fight with that man one day. He now strangle you to, to death. Fortunately, you are not in a society where they are doing post, post mortem or post or whatever test. They will now, you will now, somebody now die like that. Somebody have been saying, okay, this person is going to fall down someday and die. Because that is the way they have focused their energy and power. The person just don't fall down and die. They might start having one silly headache. Their kidney might start failing. And at the end of the day, every spiritual invocation will have to find a physical excuse for it to be man manifested. So when people come to Babalawu and we know that the energy that is around them is negative, energy just don't become negative around you except a human being like yourself has manipulated it. And most of the time, people who manipulate energy against you don't even know you. Hmm. They are not the ones who even offend. That's why we say, Ebo Shosheru, Ebo Sho, the wizard, Ebo Ajesheru, the witches, Ebo Elebo Logun, Babalawu, you can give them sacrifice and they will accept. You see, those people they call Alaroka, Toto, 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 Franklin did this, Franklin did not do that. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you, cannot, you, cannot, you, you don't know. They don't have power. But you see this mouth, they have used it to destroy your life. It may be somebody they bought pure water for 20 years ago that will say, eh, he did this to you. Ah, me ole gbagbe ore omi to she mi. Omi ni ili aye. Ah, ma, ma wori. You that said that went to go and report or talking around, you didn't know that somebody is fighting on your behalf for the things you don't even mean. And so when we meet divination and somebody say your wife is a witch, it does not necessarily mean that is your wife against you. It may mean that where she has gone, she has you. So the nature we eventually have to trace everything back to the one who sold you out, and that's yeah. why your closest relations are your best enemy. They will mess your life up. It may be your mother, it may be your father. Sometimes they even do it without knowing. It may be because they are proud of you and trying to boastful of being boastful about you. They want to go and be boastful about you among their friends who don't like you, who their children are not making that way. Want your bio. So when you go and check, they will now say it's your mother against you. It's not your mother, but it's your mother that sold you out. Are you getting the concept of how this thing works? We must understand that there are bad people in the world. There are good people in the world. What makes us good and bad? Knowledge that we possess and our own decision on how to make use of this knowledge. Nice. So sometimes when we say we need to make sacrifice of the elders, we are just trying to say, let us go and get, negotiate your matter. See, it is mouth. They used to go and talk your matter. For evil it is the same mouth that the initiate to go and use to talk your matter for good and there is one person one deity who is an intermediary between you and the witches that is a shula lo giyoko only kongi kongun when we now call a shula lu the energy of issue i've said to you issue is not a person Issue is the energy of equity. So those who are coming to equity must come with what? Clean hands. Clean hand. So if someone had gone to do abusi, which is gossip, to somebody who do not know you, who think that she is fighting or he is fighting for that person, when we trace it, 
we will also go and present our case and we'll call the energy of equity and we present the case if you are right we present it if you are wrong we also present it and we ask for forgiveness so when the energy of equity is standing between the babalawo and the witches they have no choice <laughs> and it is the unfortunate situation for the one who went to report you in case what they went to go and say is evil because wow. you the of our, that is the science of how things to work so the same issue i'm not a child of a satan is your savior when the sheep begin to when the cookie begin to crumble Babalawo and the witches can be, you know, having altercation or all this thing. But the moment we call the energy of equity between us, nobody can say what is not and escape it. That's why we tell people who come to Babalawo, please, it's like coming to your lawyer or your doctor. Don't come and be doing like this, like this, like this. Oh, come on, Tell us mm. the way it is exactly so that we we'll know what to do. Then it's not left for the witches to tell you, go and offer so so and so so sacrifice to the nature. Somebody think when we make sacrifices, some people will now come and disappear and be doing, <laughs> and they will now pack it and eat it. <laughs> who, are your, who are your mothers in the village that are so hungry? Do you think we are actually film here? No. You see, from the length and breadth, width, and the deep of african spirituality i realized that it boils around giving giving as unimportant as you may think it is when you want to drink water eh? can you just give the earth some things they call it pouring of libation huh? it is called pouring of libation when you eat but can you pour some out some of you it is the accumulation of your stinginess that's making you go through problem and at the end of the day when we tell you we need to kill this do this do this blah, 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 blah. we are still telling you to give back to nature allow the nature to breathe allow it to have its own share of what it has given to you so far that is the concept of this witches the witchcraft it looks exactly to some people it might look offensive to some people but that is the science of witchcraft. Having knowledge first that other people don't have, make you become diabolical. To them, the moment they have the same knowledge, they will change their song. It will become power. A knowledge that is inaccessible for all is diabolical. The moment they have access to it, it becomes power. But when you now attain that power, powerful stage, what do you do with the power? That's what makes you evil or good. And I must tell you, without trying, without much effort, these women you see, these women, these women, they possess so much more than you can be able to decode in the entire lifetime that you are. And so when it comes to who, who are the ambassador of witches or witchcraft, we quickly just pick them because we don't understand them. If your wife curse you, you are cursed. There's nothing I can do about it. Ah. If your mother cursed you, that's all. <laughs> that's if you offend her. Oh. Women should not think because of this, they will not be misusing power. Oh. A no, power that is unleashed can burn you. If My you offend her to the board, uh, if you offend her to the board and she mess you up, you are messed. If it's also your mother, if it's also your daughters, that's why we say, be careful while you deal with these people they call weaker vessels. There is nothing weak about them. There is nothing weak about these people who are strong. Leave their body anatomy alone. Nature has a way of compensating for each and every of these species and gender. You look masculine, but inside of you, you are feeble. They look so fragile, but inside of them, those are giants. Hmm. That's how they have been able to earn the title of witches in African spirituality. But anyone can be a witch as long as you possess the knowledge of nature. But what would you do with this knowledge of nature? Because the universe will also test you. The mm. power I gave to you, how did you make use of it? 
Are you serving humanity with it? Or you are messing them up with it? It is not left to us. So when we make divination and we realize that call, your matter has to do with marking and some people are behind it. See, what we do is we still go back to the witches. The energy of the witches is what we now invoke and we now beg them and say, please, let it go. We are not your pastor and we are not your imam. If your source is poisonous, it is your source you go to treat. Mm. You don't attack a source that gives you water because it is poisonous. You go back to mend your ways. So all this, you are, you are rebooking this, you are rebooking that. Kill a year day. Oh, the book, the video, the book. They are the one getting richer over you. You mm -hmm. break limits, so, 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 you are broken. Your limit is there. The only one that is cashing out is your pastor. So we need to be careful about how we understand this thing or how we misconceive them. And you will see that I always do veneration and also honor them every single time. I believe when our male, male children, if our sons are taught about the power that our female children possess, I guess there will be a lot more sanity in the world. Nobody will try to oppress anybody. And if these women dare to play with you, with the good sides they have, you realize how easy life can be. Some of you men don't need to hustle that much. Some of you men don't need to struggle this much. If only you are in unison with your spouse. You may be going through issues, but it will be like a soft cushion. You will just be flowing. But if you have been marked for failure, you will still go and marry one Ajay. You are by You two will not know how to behave. So the more you go, the more she fire you, fire you, fire you. So that's that's basically uh, uh, the misconception around this and how to understand this concept. I don't know, it's a comment there making you laugh. You actually laugh a lot. <laughs> this is powerful. Oh, I think, yeah, I think I'm done with, uh, with the lecture today. Right, fantastic. Uh, please, thank you, Baba Yuba. That's fantastic, man. Um, if you have questions for Baba Yuba, put them up now so I can, um, I can put your questions to him. Because some of you were trying to ask questions earlier on, but I didn't want you to... I wanted people to concentrate and pay attention so you can soak up everything he's been saying. Um, have you got any questions? Please type them now so I can I can ask, I can ask, let me see who is um what questions have you got? Yes, if you joined us, you know, midway, feel free to watch a playback, okay? Um feel free to watch a playback. Uh let's see. Put up your questions now so we can ask Baba Yoba so you can, you know, and then then we can wrap up. Right, somebody asked earlier, whilst I'm waiting for people to type um, their questions, Baba Yoba, um, there was someone that asked earlier about why is it that it's very common in our society back home where, you know, children are being, young children are being maliciously labeled or you know, targeted as being witches. And of course, you've, you've, uh, you have perfectly explained the misconception of, you know, the witches and witchcraft, which I believe people would understand. So, but why is it that it's prevalent in our community? Because we see a lot of very horrific contents, particularly online, thanks to social media, where, you know, it, innocent children will be labeled as all these self-proclaimed pastors and say, oh, that, that little girl, is possessed and you see them burning the child or in some extreme cases even killing these children why do you think that is and how can we end this very evil and toxic you know cycle well let me start from how we can end it we can end it by public enlightenment and putting as in as much enough fund into making people get to understand african spirituality and yes. their own individuality, the way we put so much money in Christianity and Islam. We can also curb this abuse of human rights and spiritual rights, so to say, by having the right people in politics who can put the right legislation 
uh, the right law into place against domestic abuse, children abuse, or whatever it is, where you mess up with a child, you are get you get locked up. Such thing is not in Africa. And the fact that African parents want to really correct their children or want to have the best, get the good things of life for them, it's also making them abuse their power. There's a way you can chastise a child or you can make life worthy for a child, but let your children have a choice of their own also. And going mm -hmm. back to why that is prevailing, you have said it all. Who are the people perpetrating this evil? The middlemen who are the traders of the religion of the invaders. Mm -hmm. They are the one abusing these children who are enigmatically endowed with African spirituality. I have seen children and I have seen adults who were taken to churches for deliverance just yes. because their parents misunderstood them or could not get them right. So I started a campaign. I said there is nothing like a bear. There is nothing like a bear. So many ladies came at me on Instagram and they want to make sure that such institution exists at all costs in our society. They told mm. me to read the book written by this, written by this. I said, men wrote this book. We, Diawo, we know that is a way to earn money by scaring you of what you are not. It is okay for you to tell people that they identify with this and help them to also maximize it. Or telling them they have Egbe and all those, which kind of Egbe? Is it Egbe or Bomi or Egbe PDP or Egbe APC? You see, misery love company. People really yes. badly want to belong to something. When they don't have that particular thing, their orphanage mentality begins to push them into accepting any form of nonsense that flies around. The same with these pastors and imams. What they don't understand, they abuse. They do not understand the concept that in African spirituality, all mankind belongs to false school of elements. Say that you are in with the fire stroke sun, the air, the water, or the earth. I'm not into horoscope or zodiac, whatever. It's the traditional culture of other kind of people, other race. When you are in the with the sun, so to say, let's, took that for, let's take that for an example. You realize that people misunderstood you, misunderstand you as being intimidating, domineering, and also you in the possible aspect you 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 are strong-willed not stronger than strong-willed you see through every project you go you 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 go by uh, what is discouraging people don't easily just break you or discourage you and for for the men uh, and the women also it might be very hard for them to settle down with one person who is not emitting the same energy as them because while you're trying to suppress this woman who identified with his son she doesn't mm. want to be suppressed and the, mm. the, there is a lot of divorce rates because our peering system has been neglected in this Africa. You can't just go ahead and get married to someone whose element is negating yours. You are a water, you are marrying someone who is a fire, you are parayida noni, ekpadama parayida noni. You get the point. So when children begin to pick up the signal from nature, according to their own divine assignment in this dispensation where they are existing, maybe through the power of their mouth, they say something is going to happen to their sibling and it happened. They say they had a dream and the dream come to reality. Parents who are obsolete, who are timid, who are ignorant, who are fearful, begin to get scared of these children and expose the children to the abusers, which are the pastors who do not have any other thing but to call these children witches and wizards. And so because of that, they don't even know how to do exorcism or take the spirit out of them. What they do is to psychologically abuse them, molest them, discourage them, and bamboozle them such that the child will live in perfect confusion state for the rest of his life. Do not mm. subject your children to such treatment. They will hurt, they will, they will, they will curse you when they know. They will hate you for it at old age. You might think you were helping them. The moment they come to this reality of things that I'm saying right now, you will be their greatest enemy. And somebody will say, What has your mother or father done to you to do this? They will not be able to explain, but they will not like you for it.
Thank you. So Thank you. the moment you, the moment you discover that you have a special child, you cannot believe in the Marvel character of those ex mutant and whatever, and not believe that your child is an Orisha also. That they can control power. That they can control electricity. That they can control uh, fire. That they can control the earth. How can you believe in such Marvel characters and not believe that your child is also an Orisha? Who can do all of this? Where do you think the the Marvel characters were, were the inspiration of all these things were gotten from? Because they know that we Africans are spirited. You, you can't be atheist as an African. You, you can't be Christian as, as an African. You can't be Muslim as an African. You are bigger than an organized religion. You are bigger than being contained or being tamed. You can be taught how to maximize your power. But nobody should assume the position of a general overseer, of a bishop, of a reverend, of a vicar over your life. Whoever does that is trying to suppress you and they don't want you to maximize your divinity. You should live as a as an Orisha, as the as the representative or even a Lodumari of your own life. Being able to heal the sick, raise the dead, do all you can do. Because it is inside of you. And when they see what you have that they don't have, the jealousy will provoke them to blackmail you and they will tame the tame, they will, they will tag your children anything they want to tell. Some of you have been taken to some Abalawu and they have suppressed this power in you by giving you some pele, using the one idea to, to suppress that. It is evil. This is evil. That's why we don't have a, a very beautiful world in Africa anymore. People should see you, not scared of you, but they should reverence you because you are spirit on your own and you should live as one. Mm -hmm. So when we begin to push this public enlightenment and make it go further and wider, people will begin to wake up to that reality, especially the parents who make their children who will make their children susceptible to the hand of these people who practice the religion of the Vedas. When you go to Celestial Church of Christ right now, any little thing you do that does not abide with their own rules and regulations, you are termed as elegbe, but they cannot do anything without giving praise to Olokun. They will go to the riverside, they will go to the ocean side, they don't even have their churches where there is no river. What are they looking for? For. Hmm. they use these powers but they are telling you that there is no power in them we need to come home to ourselves and begin to realize that these people have nothing to offer it is african spirituality they are trying to administer to you but when you are offered a local gene in a foreign cup you are going to be poisoned hmm. so, so that's is my it safe answer to say, is it safe to say thank you that a lot of these Man, 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 my, my mind is spinning like a tumble dryer, man. Is it safe to say that um, a lot of these so-called leaders of these organized religions, like you've been saying, they are deliberately ha uh, handpicked gatekeepers that have been assigned the duty to mislead multitudes so that most of us can't even be able to exercise our potentials spiritually at the very top level because i think it's it's intentional to have people all of these all of this is is intentional and also uh systematic all these guys are power brokers so to say yes because of their greed they are being sponsored greatly to ensure that african and Africa do not become great or maximize its potential by diverting the attention of our people in nothing else, which is a space into the sky God. And those of them who are attaining so much power today, they attain the little power by going diabolical the way we are. Whereas they have been bribed heavily not to even mention these things. I'm telling you the truth today that most of these your geos and pastors, not all your money is what they are making. They hmm. get sponsorship from Eurasian, Eurasian cultism, Eurasian white supremacy concept. If they want to build churches that will take one million people today, they will get the money one way or the other. If you want to build a factory that will employ just five people for space recharge or whatever, it is, you will not get the money. What do you think is hmm. happening there? The mm -hmm. way they are sponsoring them in Islam is the way they are sponsoring them in Christianity also. And it's so unfortunate that Africans are the ones being used against Africans themselves. In those days, they were asking, somebody was asking me that, come, how is it that you believe so much in this African spirituality? But in those days, our ancestors were taken captive. I said, is it madness that is worrying you or you are the one that is mad, worrying madness? Do you not know that even though Yahweh was be created and Yahweh was in existence, all this while, even the Jewish could not even escape the grip of Hitler. Where mm. was Yahweh when they were being killed? 
Why are you asking where my where are my ancestors and their power when they were being killed? You see, when fear factor is predominant in a certain society, even you will not be able to recite any any offer, any incantation. Yeah. When the yeah. kings are being brought, when traitors are living amongst us, these kings are being bribed heavily. When a king can give a 1,500 people as slaves just because they gave him a mirror or an umbrella, what else can these people do? So we have traitors amongst us. We have the onion of fear that is currently, uh, uh, what's his name? Is he a light or, or about whatever, 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 who is messing up the throne of, uh, of the ancestors? Who went to take the Aremo, the prince of Odudua, to go and do child dedication in a church and giving thanks to the foreign god for, for allowing me to stay for fair five years on the, on the ancestral throne of Africa, of, 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 in, of, indigenous, of indigenous society and race like Yoruba? Giving praise to Jesus for the things that we gave to him in Africa here. We have the one of Elegushi, which Bolatinumbu is stored there, who is giving praise to Allah for giving him one year on the throne. How do you give praise to a foreign god for the things that your ancestors gave to you? Man. Was it Bible that they used to swear you in to be the king? Was it Korean? So these people are tra traitors. And it is unfortunate for us. The wife of Oni was in the compound of, 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 of the palace of, of Ilefe the other time, doing a, a Shinanigan crusade and, and, and singing that miracle machine, la 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 la, a shootite, la la la, and she is in the palace, and you are saying a shootite, and the husband cannot even control her. What kind of madness is this? For how long are we going to keep quiet? When we put the bastard, the servant, the, the ignorant on the throne, and we expect ourselves to thrive as a race, we, th we want ourselves to thrive as, as Africans. It's, gonna go, it's not going to happen. So I was telling someone very close to me, I said, in the next 200 years, there might not be any indigenous race in Africa because these people will wipe us off. They are said the ones they have taken to Brit Britain is not enough. They are still selling some other indigenous artifact that carries so much power here. Oshaje is in your UK, dear. Oshaje is in your UK there. Why is it not in Africa here? Why is it not here? Where, where, where is it in the UK? Monlogbe, what about you, Bob? Monlogbe, what? Don't cause trouble. They will arrest you. <laughs> Let's do it legally. <laughs> <laughs> you got the point. When you now talk yeah. to them, they will be they will be saying this and that. I'll be threatening you with DSS and security forces. It's not going to happen. Parents sold out their children. Kings sell out their own community members. Our leaders are our greatest undoing because we keep putting clueless people in power. And those who have killed, you hate them, you stone them, you kill them. When is it going to go further? Man. The Akiyoko of Jesus is saying, he's coming back to Igaiduga the other day, that they stole his uh, Opache and he's going to issue to go and cause. I said, Baba, you are, you, is your own hand clean? You this the, the, you this you you this murderer. You is your is your own hand clean that you are calling issue? Better go and make another uh, uh, Opaishen Baye. If the hmm. Opaishen Baye is the real Opaishen Baye, nobody will be able to uproot it from where it is. People are suffering in Saleko. This man could do nothing for them. Contribution and collection that they are doing on, on top of Africans. Our kings have become politicians. The other day I was watching an interview with the king, with the Zulu, the king of Zulu in South Africa. He said his son, a revelation. And he gave a prophecy to his people. And a white man was asking him, who gave you this revelation? The guy said it was his father. He said, who's, who's your father? He said, Jesus. There was a shock in the eyes of this white man that was interviewing him. There was a man. shock. It was an Algeria interview. There was a shock like, ah, ah. you be the king of Zulu, respected king of, for that matter. And Jesus is your own father. What happened to these people? So when the colonization is coming again, you see, we realize that we cannot even, we can't defend ourselves. We are so defenseless. They want Yoruba nation, but we don't speak Yoruba in Yoruba nation. We don't even do Yoruba spirituality in Yoruba nation. When we get the Yoruba nation, are we still going to be going to church? Are we still going to be speaking English? Are we still going to be going to mosque? When we have the Biafra nation, is the Ahmadi order will take over? Now that these people are already controlling this and con contacting themselves with one God, they say they belong to the tribe of Jew or the Israel. What is wrong with these people? Can't you be on your own? The oh, orphanage God. mentality. I'm sorry for shouting. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. I, the energy is needed. 
Uh, thank you for that. Uh, let me let, let's just do a couple of more questions so we can wrap up. In fact, there were some questions here, but whoa, bye bye, bye is on fire today. Uh, somebody asked, please retype your questions, though, because I've I've been carried away listening. Um, man. We have a long way to go. And it's the reverse engineering, man. They've layered this suppression. Black against black. Yoruba against to suppress ourselves. The confusion is multi-layered, man. I've been tagged. Uh, somebody, type your questions, please. Uh, aha, somebody's saying, why is um, Etutu Akosejaye so expensive? If you can just answer that briefly, so I can ask you a couple of more questions and then we'll wrap up. All right, there are several, there are items needed for different things. Mm. And it is not expensive because it's supposed to be expensive. It is expensive because we are in a bad economy here. Even somebody who is selling Gary will tell you that dollar to one. What is the business of dollar and Gary? <laughs> and I will not use my own money to go and do your own right. I have children to pay school fees for. I, I, I am also having money. I, I have need for money. So people should understand that when you come and we generate item of your divination, if you like, go and buy it and bring it. If you want mm. us to help you to get it, we get the cheapest price for you, which mm. normally I'm reluctant to do for people because our Nigerian people can be so nasty when it comes to money. They think everybody's a pauper. They think everybody is out to scam them and all that. All those review, I don't, I don't want to put my hand in anything that has to do with propaganda. And mm. uh, the Akosijai has to do with... Uh, uh, different kind of items that we need to buy. And so also, uh, it will cost more people. If you go and call elders from your own place and all that, will you tell them that uh, go in peace? No, 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 you won't tell them that. Somebody's asking, um, how do we appease and get out of Ogun delay? Can you answer that quickly, please? Yeah, I've, I've done a video regarding uh, Ogun Dile. Ogun Dile, they, they say it's generational curse. And I try to correct that notion that there is nothing like generational curse in African spirituality, except somebody is going to steal from you and you are free to give them your money. There is something called generational pattern. Some will lend them, some will inherit them by blood. Mm. I spent hours speaking to someone about it. I think we should. Uh, frankly, I think we should slate a time to to address uh, generational curse on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. We can so do that. The lady who asked the question, please just um, wait till the time we are able to ex uh, explain around it. You'll see reasons no, with me. No uh, problem. Stop she's, getting... uh, she's a big fan of um, your show. So she's definitely will be, will be, um, so stay tuned for that. This one said, how do you differentiate bad and good energy around you? It's simple. The way you differentiate poison and good food, one makes you feel uneasy, the other mm. makes you feel comfortable. That's it. When you are with someone who has a bad energy, you can't just you can't be at peace with them. You're always at log your head. Sometimes you don't even want to meet with them eye to eye. You are not uh, excited to meet them. Or if it's a positive energy, especially when it works with you, you are always excited to meet them. You are eager. And don't make mistake. Bad energy is good for bad people. Good energy is good for good people. It is only bad people that good energy is not good for. When bad people see each other, even though what they are emitting is bad energy, it is good for them. You get the point? Right. Great stuff. Uh, this one said, how do you recover usurped or stolen uh, glory by parents? I mean, that's that person perhaps have an impression that their glory or whatever has been stolen by their parents. So how do you answer that very quickly, Baba Yuba? Well, it takes several rights. If, if we have made discovery that such a thing happened, so many people came from a family of Ogboni and all those wicked parents who joined so many cult uh, to, you know, uh, make exchange of their children, children and all of those things and all that. Uh, it takes several right to get one uh, out of that. It still has to do with what Ifa is telling us to do. You must understand that the system of divination is, uh, is, our, is our saving grace, and we can't do all this thing by just adding one plus two together and say, okay, this and that. It's not a generic stuff. It depends on what has been done to you that will require what will be done for you. Right. Fantastic. Uh, one more question, and then that, that's it. About when Pastor we, uh As this one said, Baba, when pastors pray and people are falling, 
what is the spirit, what type of spirit is a pastor, you know, working with? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to answer that quickly by making mockery of these people call, call themselves pastors and all that. There's something called, there are two things. There's something called emotionalism and there's something that is also called aluo. Emotionalism mm -hmm. is when you have a program in a certain environment tampered with which your adrenaline will be telling you to misbehave yourself. Remember mm -hmm. those pastors don't just start saying fall down and die one, one time. They would have done series of programming, series of teaching so that mm -hmm. When they start, you just enter cruise and be falling. Sometimes our women also are the one who help these men make mockery of them. They don't want to fall the hand of their pastors. So you see that women are the first to start shouting, -ri! I'm falling all the time. When you wake them up or something, you realize that nothing has left them. And there's another aspect of it. In case your pastor don't know how to work with your emotion or mess your head up as a material speaker, there's something they call aluwo, aluwo. The English of that, I hate giving English interpretation to all these African words. Aluwo is like a ring. It comes in form of, it can come in like a ring. It can come in form of uh, something you can put in your microphone or something like a wand or something. It is mainly used to, to catch mad people in a society then when a, a person becomes insane and enters the market to become a nuisance. And they call uh, a babalao to come and help them capture this person. Uh, you, of course, you can't face a mad person with another guy. So what you do is, is either you touch the person with the aluo or you point it to the person. The first reaction from a person is that they'll fall down and sleep off hmm. for some minutes. Within the minute of sleeping, you can carry them, cut them away into the compound and lock them up and begin to administer herbs to them until their brain come back to reality. Your pastors often come to us to collect this aluo, and it's the aluo they use on you in the church. However, if you are not a mad person and you have been falling under the anointing of aluo, you will still run mad one day. That's the consequence. If you like, go and be falling, and be, one day you will be the one to fall and you will just die. Hmm. If you don't die, you will still run mad. That's the consequence. If you are not mad and they are testing aluo on you, one day you will still run mad. All these mm. Christians that have fallen into unexplainable depression and running mad, yeah, killing this, themselves. This, uh, thank you for that. This last one. What happens when you sleep with a woman with consent and you deflower the woman and now you want out of the relationship and she's threatening to curse you? <laughs> <laughs> I said something on my Facebook uh, just last night. I said, uh, women who feels that you cannot make it in life just because their relationship with you do not, do not, does not end up in marriage and are more lunatic than most of these people that we are trying to correct their perception. You mm. see, people need to come to reality that relationship will end in marriage or not end in marriage. Mm. However, I always tell men, don't make promises of what you cannot do yeah i'm telling you the fact today publicly if a woman is there who i've done this with can come and testify i have never disviging a woman all through my youthful life hmm. because i know i wasn't serious but i know the power behind just disviging people and duping them hmm. i just if we have a good relation going the moment i discover you're a virgin poo 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 motia <laughs> Number one, my conscience will not allow me to rest, and I don't want to be getting myself involved in all of this uh, shady, shady stuff. If you have given promises to her, it is only man of you to, to, to fulfill your promise. I always tell men, you have to point at your grave before you turn back at your words. The words you don't mean, let it remain inside of you. Don't promise these women if you are not going to. It doesn't, it's not limited to virginity alone. Any woman at all, if you give a promise, just like it's going to be awful toy for you, if someone promise you and fail you, knowing that they are not going to fulfill it, and you discover, yeah. Yeah. you can say wrong words in the, in the rave of the moment and all that. However, mm. if you guys are just on the take a strong team, there's a better way to break up with women or men than just breaking their hearts. 
you guys know better about this. I'm not a relationship counselor, but to battle for you, it's you. It's uh, sorry, it's me, it's not you, or it's you, it's me. Um. I'm holding on to celibacy for now. The spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, anyway, it's been a fantastic um, session. You, um, as you can see on the screen, uh, check out Babayo Bar's website. That's Babayo. Uh, is that B A B A Y O O B? There's supposed to be. There's supposed to be an A there. Babayo Bar dot o -R -G. I made a mistake. Right, okay, let me let me let me type let me type that so um baba yo ba or some people so somebody's saying that you're not responding to your whatsapp so i'm guessing that you're very busy can you say something about that quickly i usually ask for apology uh, tender apology to people i'm really sorry i'm very very sorry we have to do public enlightenment. We are invited to one conference or the other, one workshop for the other. Like now, we are spending almost 130 minutes here talking with yeah. you guys on Franklin's platform. I had to go from one place to the other, doing ritual here and all that. I always tell you that sometimes it is not where I am that a sacrifice must be done. Sometimes uh, divination system tells us to go to your own hometown or your village to get this thing done. These are long drives and all. So I will surely attend to everyone at the end of the day please just please 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 just stay with me stay with me and be patient please the reason right. why it's not that far is because yeah. i'm not running a business with your money or with your attention or with you if i'm running a business i would have hired people to come and be help me to listen to you but these are confidential matters it's like a doctor patient relationship things you share with me i can't share with any living soul and if I get an assistant to listen to what you are, people are dubious. I don't want that. So please let it be between you and I, and let it be when I get to you, I will surely get to everyone. I'm overworking myself, and I will surely go around with everybody. Right. So look at what I've pinned on the screen. Baba. Ah, I made Yoba. a mistake. Org. I, I put Baba. It's, uh, it's Baba. Yoba.org. I made a mistake there, but it's B A B A Y. BA.org, then Baba Yoba on YouTube and at Baba Yoba underscore. Uh, is that at Instagram is Baba Yoba underscore uh, Baba underscore Yoba? Sorry. Ah, my bad, my bad. Let me let me let Baba me do it. Underscore Yoba. Sorry, people, we'll be getting information right as time goes on. One second, Baba underscore Yoba on Instagram. Okay, so, and then, if you look, if you have personal concerns, I'm looking at some some things in there. If it's personal to you, like somebody who is talking about, you might be saying some things to do with sex in your dreams, and it, you know, there's a pattern to it. Go and meet Baba Yoba for like you know personal div uh, divination consultation, and I'm sure he will be able to shed lights on what direction to take from there. So that's not something that, of course, you'd appreciate that can be discussed on an open platform. Come on. Uh, please let me, let me say to people that it is not every time you come that you might require to do a sacrifice or buy some items. Sometimes it might be just general counseling or advice. Sometimes if I just want you to change some lifestyle, you leave some of these precautions we give to you. So don't think a babalawu is not legit or know his job just because it's not billing you or asking you for money if if i did not say collect this we will collect if your matter requires you to just change your diet if it requires you to just change your lifestyle your location i'm not going to ask you to buy any item so you right. should not come with the mindset of i want to spend money i want to spend money please and if your matter requires money don't because you cannot pay the money come online i'm a calling me scammer and the thing is there are two stages there is a divination uh token which you will pay to have unlimited access to me sometimes franklin i speak to one person for two hours sometimes two good hours if you guys are working like that in the uk they'll surely pay you per hour yeah and that's asking me for life you might wake up in the middle of a dream they wake me up in the middle of my, in the middle of my sleep 
Sometimes I'm eating, I have to stop my eating because you have paid that money you have access to me. However, when I engage in service for you and I make divination for you, the whatever you first say we should get or buy, I'm not going to use my money for you. Except you have warapa or you have mental problem. Those are the two things that if I say we should not collect money for. It is my money that I will use to help and treat you on that regard. There are other ailments also or issues that people have that according to Ifa divination, a babalawo must not collect money for it. And the fact that you beg me, beg me and say, please, I don't have that much money, collect this thing as if you're not talking, and you are in Nigeria. And I say, okay, because your president is my president and I know how it goes. I will add the remaining for my money. Does not mean you are going to be going and be comparing notes with those who can afford it and say, Mugba uh, is cheap here. Is no, I can decide not to take something from some people. And I can decide to take something from the people. If it does not pay you, Ale Pate, Son Guota, Ale Pate, let God the Badu Expressway. Go and meet Jesus. Go and meet Muhammad. Please don't stress my whole life. Let me focus on what Ori has told me to do for people. And sure. my service is not for everybody. If you can't afford it, instead of calling me scammer, you dare for what? Um, I just want to I want to add to that, okay? Um, and I will say this as well. And I, I'm a I'm a very reasonable man. So, like I always say, first of all, I'm exercising my freedom of expression to bring Baba Yoba or anyone that I deem fit on my platform. I've had some unscrupulous persons that maybe because they're confused, I don't know who they are, they hide behind dodgy contact details, they will come into my inbox. As soon as I see toxic content and you're trying to say something nasty or maybe because you don't like that person because of their expression, on, on a particular platform three years ago, and then you think you have the audacity to come and tell me X, I just flag your email, send it straight to the junk folder, and bang, block you straight from there. So what I'm trying to say is, first of all, here, this man, let me tell you, man, what this gentleman, and I'm not saying it because he's here now, what this gentleman is sharing with us in terms of knowledge that has taken him a long time to acquire, right? On some platforms, away from my platform, they were paying him top dollar for him to even speak for an hour. That's facts. You have somebody who is a, an ex-prime minister of a country, ex-president of a, of a country, who have lied, who have bombed other nations. They go and speak in Qatar. They pay them a million pounds for 30 minutes. They pay them 500,000 pounds to speak for 45 minutes. You have an ex-British prime minister gets paid a million pounds to consult with an oil refinery country in the Middle East who are still bad in Africa. These people are not even adding value. This is how to elevate and improve your life and hopefully call a shield you know, so you can see the light. Like he rightly says, it's not for everybody and all that. Don't come and start karate chops on my platform or start attacking people that you shouldn't. Nobody owes you anything. Baba Yoba doesn't owe anybody anything. But personally, I align with his knowledge, ideas, and stuff, okay? And I brought him on my platform. If it's not your cup of tea, you are absolutely within your right to go in your direction Go and watch Tom and Jerry. Go and read a book. Go and cook. Go and bake cake. Go to work. Go and sleep. Go and do whatever else rather than coming here and attacking. But if you're an African particularly and you can pay attention to what this man has been talking about, man, believe me, most of us, we're living in blindness. In interestingly, I watched um, a documentary online earlier today where a white man said, unbeknown to a lot of us we are living in this world the lives we are living every day is actually scripted it's been tailored for us that a lot of people don't realize that people with certain energies they they, they force you into a direction so it's later in life to a day and challenges you start seeing things the way you should see them that's all i'm trying to you know get to i hope you find the light i hope um, things fall in place for you and I, for every one of us. Bye bye, you bye. Shadura from Waka, close up. Bebe is Besoko, Aoni, Besajo, Ayawa Dara, Adnishoma. Oni, a new Muriti, Lagbe, Aoni Shashi, Lea Yo. A share. Our Nero Guala Coba, our Nero Gulini, our Nero and Fessy, 
a o ni shori gbe awon tin se gbegbe gbe o ni gbe sodo wa o a o ni ba won we won ai ni di o a o ni gbe omo sin a o ni gboko sin a o ni gbaya sin o ni bo bata o fo se na na le mi ati yin o iku ai pojo arogbo ai kosu ko ni mo do le wa o awa ti wa do mo iku ti ku gboro pa lo ni o a do mo arun ta run gboro gbede a do mo ati iri ta se iri kankan o gboro bewo a do mo fo to fu gbo gboro se a da fun wa a je wa kale eh aye wa o ni baje e mo wa fe fe le ikun wi pe agbe ni ndun wari wari aluko ni ndun wa ro warun ase mo ga ni ndun mapayi mapayi ogere ja fe aje afun emi tin so mo lorin dirin din baye ba mu olapa awon ma bo baye ba mu gugu alapa loto ni lo a ma yobo nbe o won ni baye ba mu olese won ajuru pata gbogbo ko to to ta gbe le fun wa awon ni won mo fara awon di won ni beyo di ba mu olohun a torun alakeji a o ni lo sorun alakeji lai pe ojo o se wa ni pa o ma go ti wa lenu o aye wa dara o se rinu yo dara fun wa thank you from me and Baba Yuba, thank you, and uh, you'll be back soon.